everyone welcome back and thank you for watching another one of my grocery shopping haul videos you guys i've been forced to come to the sam's club hey people how y'all doing it is uh janita back again with another video and it is a small grocery haul and i am still prepping stocking restocking the pant pantry prepping getting all my stuff ready for whatever gonna happen in the next few 28 days okay as y'all can see i'm showing y'all what some of the stuff i got it's uh different stores but anyway i was forced forced to go out to the store my husband demanded i go he told me i better go or else sound like one of my my side of the stories huh ha, check them out but anyway y'all yes i was forced to go out into the virus infectious air to get help my husband get some things so i do have a couple of short snippets of the store in sam's club and showing y'all that he had to stop by food for less and i said a few words i'm just gonna throw that in the video okay so there we go and y'all can see i got my tums for my heartburn into just all that old stuff i got some from walgreen they had them at a right at a good price senior citizens get good di discounts at walgreens y'all if y'all interested they do got a i don't even know i don't even need to be saying i was just gonna say they got a walgreen credit card giving you 25 30 dollars when you use it so if y'all can get that check it out just helping the seniors but anyway let me hurry up and do this because i got to put this stuff up as you can see i got my husband got me some of this beef brisket at sam's delicious this thing about twenty dollars they say this lasts up till december 31st this year but i ain't eating all this i don't know if we eating this all in one setting or not but it sure look good i just wanted to try it y'all ever had this let me know in the comments and then also we got some pork uh i guess this is rib something the title of the meat cut off so i think these are rib tips something like that and that's the price if y'all can see it have y'all noticed the price of pig in sam's club okay i got it showing on the video a snippet showing y'all the price of they tripled the price of the baby bags in sam's club they used to be 25 they damn near 50 dollars unbelievable these ribs have doubled in price oh my god they used to be 25 now they're 50. well left that there and figure out somewhere else it's 15 dollars a slab pig i heard in somebody's video or a rumor hearsay talking about the pig gonna be scarce sparse and unavailable or very expensive like it is very expensive double in price at sam's club on some of the pork prices come on now i can't afford no 50 dollar ribs for the baby bags that's too much i can manage but anyway if y'all seen those prices let me know in the comment but anyway the streets busy out there i don't know on a friday nobody got no job <laughs> out there spending their baby checks whatever the hell they got people just in the street i just couldn't wait to get out of them because every time i go out i swear i don't feel well i got some a taste of that shit swell that stuff all in my blood and stuff probably in everybody's blood but some of us are being affected worse than others so thank god i ain't too bad off thank you both sides thank you thank you thank you but anyway this is what i got see that big ass bottle of vodka back there that is because i plan on making me some vanilla extract now all i gotta do is find the vanilla bean and then look at somebody's video how to do this i know a couple of people did it and uh i forgot the young lady name she did it and you take some vodka i think it was vodka and you put them beans in there and put it in a corner in a mason jar and turn it into vanilla extract because vanilla extract is so damn high i know some of y'all cooks know that but anyway they're the vodka i got some tilapia while we was in sam's club 
I got my Mrs. Dash garlic and herb. I love that stuff. We got the cheese because it's on sale, I believe. Some cowboy Werther seasoning. I got some lemons. Did I tell y'all I got the bell, some bell pepper? And these Viva pepper towels came from Walgreens. And they are small as hell. Like somebody used half the roll before I even put it to put began to use it. They have cut the size of these paper towels. I'm telling y'all, these things are so small. They did it to the Scotts paper towels too. I think I had that in one of my videos. But anyway, that came from Walgreens. I be I am using my um Walgreens cash if y'all know about that. Um and I told y'all I got the tilapia. But anyway, I'm about to cut this video short. Get the prepping, get prepared, get ready because we don't know what's coming. People dropping like flies, getting sick, don't believe to do what they need to do. And I know I, I, I ain't mad at nobody. I don't even give a damn because you don't like I told y'all about that man video. He says, save the hospital if y'all don't believe whatever y'all know what he was talking about. Just keep your asses out the hospital. Now, this is the video that I had put in one of my videos. It wasn't a video. It was me mentioning. I heard it on the Roland Martin show on his YouTube channel. And he had a guy on TikTok something. His wife had cancer and he she had to be kicked out the hospital because they trying to uh, make room for the uh, unvaccinated people that's uh, filling up the hospital and he was saying like why they bring their ass to the hospital if they don't want to be treated how you gonna be treated by the same stuff you don't want to be treated by they be sick from in the first place so it's all so crazy but anyway like I said I already got my shot my family we got our shots and I'm happy we got our shots. Like I said, if I didn't have my shot, and I'm always telling y'all I don't feel well, I'd probably be dead today. Cause on the on the news, the doctor they showed them doctor people that he said them people he don't he he hate to treat them cause they in there suffocating, suffocating. You know what suffocating mean? Somebody taking it like somebody could take example, take a pillow and put it over your face and you can't breathe, suffocating from the from the virus, the infection. That's how it take you out. And if if you think you could deal with that, hmm. You hella strong. But anyway, that's all I got to say. All I know is y'all need to keep prepping, keep stocking, restocking, keep refilling your containers, whatever you need to do. Prep your gear, your tools, your your devices y'all use for electric, whatever y'all got. Keep it going and get ready, stay prepared. Because S H Wait, well, I always be trying to say shit hit the fan. Shit already, shit already hit the fan. S H T F. So get ready, people. And I ain't got to tell y'all no more. I don't even know why I keep telling y'all to get ready. I'm ready. See all my shit. Everybody always asks me, where you putting all your stuff? Well, mainly it going in our bellies. Other than that, the stuff that can be prepped, stay on the shelf in case you got emergency food and all that stuff. But that question I always get at, where you putting all the food? It's going in our belly. We do eat, people. But we do got a stash too. Yes, I got a lot of stuff. But y'all know some stuff y'all see in my videos. That's stuff that I had before and some is new. But I, I stay stocked up. And we stay over here with ingredients to cook with. Ain't no fools over here except when I had to go outside. <laughs> anyway, but thank y'all for watching. And y'all will see my little video when I had to be going out in the virus streets. Bye. Okay, guys, I've been forced to come to the Sam's Club with my husband. He forced me out. I couldn't do anything about it. So here I am in the Sam's Club. I'm panicking. I'm trying to hurry up and get out. All right, guys. Now, you guys, y'all can hear me. I'm at the food for less. I'm waiting on my husband. Going. He went in the store right quick. Got me out here in these virus streets. Dang shame. I would say nice fresh air, but lies. Virus infected. None fresh air. I hope this grocery haul was a pleasure to watch. And I hope it helped you guys remember something that you might have forgot to get from the store. Once again, thanks for watching.